So once you've logged into the web interface for the SIP client, you'll find this very attractive GUI. Uh, very, very straightforward and simple to set up. As simple as a soft phone that you would download for your mobile or desktop. You can enter an on-network shortcode or you can enter an off-network telephone number, anything that you like, providing that it's been enabled within your voice host account. Here I'm entering in uh, just a local DDI for my SNOM deck phone. If we navigate over to the services page, you'll see all of the SIP account details that we need to enter. Username, password, realm, port, expiry time, and optional transport and encryption settings at the bottom, which VoiceOS does support. Back to the top menu and SIP2 is for an additional provider and the audio tab is for DTMF and codec negotiation. Now that the phone's online, we're in the VoiceOS account portal and we're gonna try giving it a call. So the SIP stack's really responsive Overall, the SIP client is very impressive. It's got good quality. It's very responsive. You can also call the client back from either an on-network telephone just by dialing the short code or by signing a telephone number via your voice host account and dialing that.